Hi guys, Irish Trekkie here, finally bringing you my issue 12 review of Star Trek's The Starship's Collection, USS Thunderchild, the Akira class. Um, also, we have our uh, final subscriber's gift, if I can get it into frame here, um, our Borg Cube, but I'm just going to tease that away and I'll look into that a little bit later on in the video. But uh, like normal, we have our magazine. And we have our model. So we'll just have a look at the magazine first off. So again, I just put the model aside. Uh, so this feature is about the Akira class USS Thunderchild. One of my favorite ships and I've uh, been waiting for this for a while now. Um, both figuratively and uh, actually as well. The delivery just for some reason took forever um, for these two issues. But that's part and parcel of it anyway. So let's just tear into the magazine now and just see what we have um, for us. So as per normal, uh, we have some fantastic graphics here, uh, head on view of the USS Thunderchild. So it's, she's an Akira class, um, so built for uh, basically the Borg pretty much, but a fantastic looking ship and um, lends a lot of its um, styling to the NX-01. As well but I'll do a comparison between those two ships just to show you a difference in scales later on anyway so won't focus too much on that so following the theme of uh, all the issues here we have the background of the Akira class fantastic again custom graphics for the magazines which shown um, some shots of its on-screen um, features as well be it um, the movies mainly but uh, we could talk about that later on anyway so that fit follows on with uh, pages six and seven here again, um, showing her, unfortunately, not doing too good up against the Borg cube. Um, but uh, yeah, fantastic, fantastic ship. So we have some data feeds there. Again, some um, screen shots off its uh, on-screen antics um, and some nice, again, custom graphics showing some nice close-ups off the gear glass. So following on from there, uh, we have our... Um, top down and uh, it's kind of specifications view off the ship as well Um, I love these sections you know you, they do show a lot of detail and the graphics are spectacular and um, they lend itself great uh, very well with the model that's supplied as well with it so we have our little feature right up in the top corner there um, Akira class in action so uh, one of the main reasons why I like the magazines are these sections designing. So the process of development, so how it came to be from from uh, to the ship that we're familiar with. Um, nice artist uh, rendering there off one of the kind of concept pictures. Uh, fantastic. I wish I had that kind of skill to do ships like that. Uh, I can draw a little bit, but um, nothing like that. But yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, really up close shots here. Absolutely fantastic. So we have a close up there of the shuttle base and um, zooming right in there and then again showing the rear and front of the weapons pod and um, the bridge view going back into the uh, warp nacelles in the top view there but fantastic um, point of views of the ship itself and all its glory. Um, again following this trend, uh, trend? trend of design here for us as well. A very good read and um, I, I won't do any kind of spoilers or anything like that. So um, this is then creating um, the Akira. So it was a CGI model. Um, again, the CGI has allowed the evolution of design to continue even from its on-screen um, appearances as well. Um, you'd know a lot about that now when looking at the Enterprise E. Um, the differences of that in Nemesis versus First Contact would be evident. But uh, you see the mesh model here, which is very interesting. And again, some feature shots of its on-screen um, presences as well. And then we just have its kind of most uh, famous appearances and some interesting trivia about it. And a sneak peek at the Jem Hadar battle cruiser for the next issue. Uh, really looking forward to that one as well. Um, again, I do like the Federation ships, but it's nice to get these interesting um, ships that you may not have kind of come across or seen available in stores. So, uh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool to review. So, uh, without further ado, um, again, I always kind of end off on the back graphics but we put the magazine to one side and we'll have a look at the ship so here she is a fantastic ship even from the get-go uh there does look like a lot of detail on this so uh, let's get straight into it and i'm always nervous about these parts that i break them again like the kind of design ethos of federation ships you have the thin nacelles <laughs> Just take her out there. Uh, 
Okay, put her to one side. Easy peasy. And then we have our stand and our mount. Okay. So, here she is. The Thunder Child. So let me just focus in here, guys, just to give you a nice view of what you can expect if you're getting these, or if you're thinking about getting them. Um, yeah, there's a lot of detail on these. Um, let's see if I can get a kind of close-up shot of the text. It's very crisp. If I can get, yeah. So you see the United Federation of Planets there. Uh, one thing I noticed straight away, um, some of the graphics in the magazine had Thunder Child written across the top of the registration, but for some reason it's just showing the NCC. Uh, it's slightly off, but again, I'm not going to nitpick. Um, if you're familiar with, I assume you are if you're watching this, but um, again, this would sh uh, mirror a lot of the design um, ethos at the NX01. But um, it's executed gorgeously in this particular model. Um, I don't really see too many issues here. Um, you have your weapons pod, bridge, and uh, nacelles are very nice there. So again, um, I don't often do, but you see that nacelles are almost kind of see-through. So again, when you have light going through them, they'll get that kind of like electric blue hue. And the same with the Bizarre Collectors or Buzzard Collectors from Bizarre. Um, again, you see that kind of rubyish kind of color there when light passes through them. But a fantastic model. So let's have a wait around. Look here, if I just focus in. Not a massive amount of detail, but with the scale of these bigger ships, you're lucky to get any detail at all from this kind of sizes but they tend to do pull it off um, I like the differences in the panelling and um, the windows are executed very well here um, too small to have kind of any writing on the dorsal side of it but again it's, I think it's executed well uh, windows maybe a bit kind of side on they look all right but when you kind of flip them over kind of look a little funny but uh, not to worry uh, deflector dish is pretty okay um, I wish that kind of style was in the Excelsior, um, but again, it was a very small um, section to have a lot of detail in there as well. But overall, this is a fantastic um, model and very well executed by Eagle Moss. Uh, I do, I, you know, when they do these kind of panels, it just gives that little sense of scale. And then there's a whole lot of windows going down here into the uh, weapons mount through to the nacelles. So very well done. Um, you have your registration on the nas on the warps, the warps, the um engines. And yeah, it's pretty cool. You have your large phaser bank array on your photon torpedoes up here, but really, really, really nice model. Actually, really like that. It's weighty too, but again, you have all the weight in the front section, so she's kind of light at the back. But that should mount very well. So let's have a look at her on the mount itself. So let me just focus in here. There we go. So I have that kind of suspended kind of action mount there. Absolutely fantastic. Very secure. Will take pride in place within the section within uh, my uh, collection there now. Absolutely fantastic. This is, if you're not collecting the series, this will be some, definitely one of them to consider um, getting. Absolutely gorgeous ship. Nice scaling size as well. Now just for comparison's sake, I'm going to get the NX-01 for you guys. Just bear me one second. So there we have the Thunder Child and the NX-01. So again, nice size comparison between the two of them. And you see the difference in the finishes. Um, you have that more raw metal look on the NX-01. Again, that's your uh, generational ship that everything evolved from pretty much. But you see the commonalities on the actual... Um, uh, saucer section and then you have these kind of spars going back through to the nacelles as well and then you have your pod and your pod now that's your engineering pod and that's your kind of weapons pod on the Akira but again uh, you, you can't deny the similarities if you had the nacelles facing downwards on the NX-01 you know they're pretty much distant cousins of each other but absolutely fantastic definitely model to get for you guys Um. Oh yeah, something I just missed there, I'm just after noticing a uh, nice uh, separation there of the uh, life pods as well to kind of make them stand out. And again, give you that sense of scale as well. You have them um, circle in the saucer section and then along where the command section is there in the section in the center. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. So that's been my review of issue 12.
So I'm just going to put these guys aside and we're going to have a look at the Borg subscribers gift. If I don't drop everything that I'm touching. So here you go. <laughs> Uh, my setup doesn't really allow to kind of have the full full size of it in, but it's absolutely freaking huge. Um, I'm just going to pull in the Akira um, that we just reviewed just as a scaling for it. If I didn't throw the freaking camera. <laughs> so you see the difference in size here. It's absolutely massive. Now I'm just going to take the camera off the mount just so I can pull it back a little. So there's your bore cube absolutely huge um the kind of molding on the edge of it it's nice you know you have these kind of patches that you can see there and um, this is a powered um display model so it takes four AA batteries and it lights through but i'm just going to turn that on here now it doesn't come with the batteries uh, which side actually <laughs> turns on one second there yeah so you'll see you have your battery port along the bottom and then you have a toggle switch. So there's your board cube lit up. It's nice lit. Um, yeah, I, I, I like it. I wish there was more definition in the detailing. They're just molded pieces. Um, I'd have to say they're probably identical sides. Just kind of put in. Um, the light spacings are pretty much identical. From the top you see there's kind of your center light with four um sections around the edges but they're kind of replicated on all the sides um even some just kind of like brush painting similar to the sphere and um, the sphere had the kind of green patches but you had these kind of like uh, i don't know if it was kind of like worn but you had like kind of silver breaking through on some of them just to kind of make them pop it's a fairly kind of generic but it's 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 nice. I like the size of it, so it can kind of take center space, uh, center stage off the, off the collection, kind of have everything kind of radiating from it. But I think could have done better um, as a subscriber's gift to kind of motivate people to get subscriptions. You know, you see your molding here. Uh, there could have been some kind of different painting just around here, just some different shading. Um, it's very basic enough to be honest with you and uh, no great weight in it again it's um plastic uh with your kind of uh, light up internal components with your four AA batteries as well it's nice you know uh i probably wouldn't have gone out and just bought it uh but as a subscriber's gift you know is not one of the things i kind of got me to the subscription i was really looking for the future enterprise the all good things um but it's nice to have all the same but yeah uh, maybe Tweak paint, you know, I guess some modelers paint there and kind of do some graphing, uh, graphicking on the sides maybe, but again, that's for another time. If I do, I may do an update on it. Um, I'm not the greatest at that, so <laughs> I'll have to think long and hard about it. But yeah, it's nice to have. So um, that's our Borg Cube Light Up Subscribers gift sitting beside our fantastic uh, Thunder Child. Get a nice close-up view on her. Love it really like it so yeah so that concludes my uh combined review of issue 12 and the subscribers gift and uh, sorry for focusing and um, sorry for the delay um i wish i could have had it up sooner i was just getting waiting for it to come in the door but um uh, yeah i just got it today so i just went upstairs and kind of get it done as quickly as i can um to send out to you guys so again thanks for the support um there's been quite a lot of subscribers adding to the channel and i um, very grateful of that and uh long may that momentum last as well um, but if there's any suggestions or any feedback, do uh, leave a comment below. So yeah, um, please like, share and subscribe. And um, yeah, just have a good day, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.